Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But you, I said, I have seen, and yet you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never turn away. And the invocation. Giver of br the bread of life, we thank you for the physical strength and satisfaction brought by good food, for the intellectual interest and enjoyment brought by food for your for the mind, and for the inner nourishment and peace, brought by the food for the spirit. Feed us today that we may be ready to serve you and satisfy my thir thirst for meaning by the companionship of Jesus and the gifts of your spirit. Amen. The first hymn is found in your blue hymnal. We are doing hymn Two, two, two. Let the saints on earth in concert sing. response of psalm today is 133 found in your book of psalms <clears throat> how very good and pleasant it is when the kindred live together in unity It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls from the mountains of Zion. Today's reading comes from Matthew 10, 1 to 4. Then he called his 12 disciples to him and gave them the authority to drive out unclean spirits and to cure every kind of illness and infirmity. These are the names of the twelve apostles, first Simon, also called Peter, and his brother Andrew, 
James, son of Zebedee, and the brother and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew with the tax collector, James, son of Alphas, Thaddeus, Simon the, the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, the man who betrayed him. This is where we Um, this is where we first are introduced to the disciples all together. This is where we see them all together, and Jesus starts to give them the rules and regulations of uh, what they're going to be doing. I always imagined something out of an action movie when Jesus pulls them all together, like um, Andrew is sitting in a dark room, then Jesus slowly walks out of the shadows clapping and uh, congratulating him because he's going to be recruited to his crack team of individuals who are going to be spreading the word of the Lord. Uh, <laughs> but that's not how it happened. Jesus often went to them in their times of need when the harvest from the uh, fishermen's was growing low, Jesus told them, I believe, to cast their nets out on the other side, and they found their nets plentiful of fish. It is important to note that these are, well, most of them were the people who went on to build the church after Jesus' passing. Uh, they worked together to spread the word of Jesus, uh, though it was not an easy because most of them did not live to see a full life. They died for their ideas of Jesus. It was not easy. There are many instances of the disciples and Jesus being run out of towns and synagogues for spreading their ideas. Jesus would want them to always keep in touch with one another and to always ensure that the word of God was not corrupted. Unfortunately, as we all know, one was corrupted before Jesus' passing, and that was Judas Iscariot. It was very unfortunate of what happened. And we know that it was not the ideal situation. But those who remained faithful would go on to do great things and would lay the foundations for the church. Uh, a very important part of their, of their religion was community. They needed to remain together and build upon one another to help one another grow in their faith and their learning. And it was thanks to Jesus that they were able to do this. Uh, thus ends the lesson today. The final hymn is found in your green book, and it is Hymn number 176, Jesus Loves Me. Oh, okay. <laughs>